Puff Daddy to me is like a uh, what's them dudes who who run the three ring circus the the, <laughs> the dude that come out and you know what I mean just the ringmaster. What club am I talking about? I'm talking about the club of gatekeepers that we all got to deal with. You know who they are, and they definitely know who they are. Um, a lot of people would be like, what, who, who, who? Come on, man, stop playing. Ice Cube has just dropped some shocking revelations about the true nature of Jay-Z's connections with Diddy. Brace yourselves for what he's spilled because it's bound to send shivers down your spine. Day by day, it becomes increasingly apparent that Jay-Z may be heading down a similar path as Diddy, as there's much more to this story than meets the eye. I guess, I guess he the ringmaster, because you know, he do it big and he always put on a show. So Puffy is the ringmaster to hip hop. According to Ice Cube, Jay, Diddy, and R. Kelly were all part of a nefarious circle that engaged in unspeakable acts and collaborated to keep it all under wraps. Allegedly, Jay continued his friendships with these individuals until the 11th hour, fearing their potential to expose his involvement. However, with R. Kelly now behind bars, it seems like the truth is on the verge of emerging. Diddy finds himself besieged by numerous lawsuits, sparking speculation that Jay-Z could be next in line. But what prompts curiosity is Jay-Z's close ties with both R. Kelly and Diddy. What hidden truths lie behind these alliances? And what secrets does Jay-Z fiercely guard? Let's delve deeper into the matter. Some of you may not have realized um, that I'm not part of the club. And a lot of you listening to me right here, right now, you're not part of the club either. And what I realized with the club is what makes them so mad is when you don't want to be a part of the club. It appears that Jay-Z is facing mounting pressure, with Ice Cube unveiling troubling revelations about the intertwined connections of Jay, Diddy, and R. Kelly. The information Ice Cube possesses has the potential to cripple Jay-Z's career and expose him to severe consequences. Close sources suggest that Ice Cube has shared this damning information with authorities, aiming to dismantle Jay-Z and Diddy's empires. The disclosed details are shrouded in darkness, hinting at a web of deceit and misconduct. Jay-Z has been thrust into the spotlight amid the unfolding revelations about Diddy. Speculation is rife that he might be the next target of exposure. Notably, YouTuber Storm Monroe has surfaced with purported insider knowledge on this front. In a recent video, Monroe hinted at impending legal turmoil for Jay-Z, akin to what Diddy is grappling with presently. He insinuated a clandestine orchestration behind the scenes, aiming to bring Diddy down and subsequently implicate Jay-Z in the same predicament. After they are done with Diddy, Jay-Z is up next to be exposed, right? Jay-Z, over the course of his career, and I have to still say allegedly, has done things and allegedly participated in a lot of things that the public would not be happy to know. Presently, the extent of truth remains elusive, and the timeline for Jay-Z's potential exposure remains uncertain. Nonetheless, murmurs from various corners have begun resurfacing aged tales hinting at Jay-Z's past indiscretions, possibly setting the stage for his own unmasking. Much of the chatter revolves around his purported involvement with Diddy and R. Kelly in bygone eras. To provide context, Jay-Z didn't soar to musical prominence at a tender age like many of his contemporaries. Conversely, R. Kelly had already cemented his status as a mainstream R&B figure in the early 1990s, while Diddy navigated the industry corridors within one of its pivotal record labels. Eventually, their paths intertwined, leading to collaborative ventures. Jay-Z shared a particularly close bond with R. Kelly, extending beyond the confines of the studio. They frequented the same social gatherings, patronized identical establishments, and even shared romantic interests. Consequently, in the wake of R. Kelly's exposure to his predatory behavior, suspicions abound regarding Jay-Z's complicity. Speculation is rife, insinuating Jay-Z's awareness and potential involvement in concealing R. Kelly's egregious actions. Consider Aaliyah. Despite being a gifted vocalist, Aaliyah was only 12 years old when she and R. Kelly first crossed paths in 1991. By 1994, however, she had released her debut album, Age Ain't Nothing But a Number. One of the album's underlying messages was that love is love regardless of age. R. Kelly essentially projected his feelings about a teenager on her debut album because, wouldn't you know it, that album was written and produced by her. Of course, that album is a classic and contains some 
some of the timeless tracks from that era. Following a witness's testimony, it was revealed that R. Kelly had been having affairs with Aaliyah since she was 13 years old in August 1994. At that time, Aaliyah was 15 years old. R. Kelly obtained a forged document stating Aaliyah's age as 18, and after learning that she was pregnant, remember, he was already 27, he secretly married her. We'll never know what happened to the pregnancy, but we do know that the marriage was annulled in 1995 because Aaliyah was obviously too young to enter a marriage. While Aaliyah's situation garnered significant attention, numerous other women and girls have emerged with accounts of navigating R. Kelly's troubling fascination with teenage girls. Following Kelly's conviction and subsequent imprisonment in 2021, many questioned how he managed to evade accountability for so long. The truth lay in those who were aware of his actions, but chose to turn a blind eye, as well as those who actively participated alongside him, including figures like Jay-Z. That former R&B singer R. Kelly is guilty on six counts of child pornography. He was found not guilty of seven other charges. Uh, yesterday, prosecutors told jurors Kelly committed, quote, crimes against children, while his lawyer asked jurors to put aside what they know about Kelly and just focus on the evidence heard in the trial. In a recently revisited conversation, Nas discussed a concerning matter with Wendy Williams during her past 107.5 FM radio program. According to Nas, Jay-Z was fully aware of R. Kelly's troubling attraction to underage girls, yet chose to continue collaborating with him. However, if you thought that marked the conclusion, brace yourself for further surprises. Even after learning everything about R. Kelly's actions towards Aaliyah, Jay remained interested in her. He even attempted to pursue her romantically while she was involved with his friend, Dame Dame. Jay would send flowers, court her, and go on dates, giving it his all. However, Aaliyah simply didn't reciprocate his feelings and made it clear. Unable to handle rejection, Jay resorted to sabotaging Dame's career. Here is what Jaguar Wright explained about it. They went too far. Mm. Sean Combs and Sean Carter have been working together for the better part of 25 years to find a way to take over full control of the entertainment industry. They have been slumping and sidelining relevant hip-hop communities for decades so that they can have control. This betrayal cut deep for Dame because of their long-standing friendship. Back when Jay was struggling as an artist, peddling his records from studio to studio without success, Dame stood by him. It was Dame who invested his time and resources to establish Rockefeller Records together with Jay. This partnership provided Jay with the platform to secure a distribution deal with Def Jam in 1997, propelling his career forward and enabling collaborations with major figures like Diddy. As tensions escalated between Dame Dash and Jay-Z, their partnership began to sour. Primarily due to Jay-Z's growing involvement with Aaliyah, Jay-Z gradually marginalized Dame Dash, excluding him from crucial decisions and business endeavors. Jaguar Wright famously highlighted Jay-Z's betrayal of Dame Dash, citing Jay-Z's self-serving motives as the driving force behind his actions. I would just rather do it on the stand, Sean. Mm. Please sue me. I want to go to court and I want to talk about big on the stand. However, the situation worsened when, in February 2002, a notorious video surfaced depicting someone who appeared to be R. Kelly engaging in inappropriate behavior with an underage girl. Subsequently, a few months later, R. Kelly was arrested and indicted on 21 counts related to illegal activities involving minors. During a search of his Florida residence, authorities discovered incriminating images and a videotape featuring young girls in compromising positions with R. Kelly. Despite the evidence, R. Kelly vehemently denied all allegations, leading to the charges being dropped in 2004. Nevertheless, the public remained aware of the allegations against him. Surprisingly, even with mounting evidence and public outcry, Jay-Z did not distance himself from R. Kelly or publicly condemn his actions. Instead, in 2002, coinciding with the tumultuous events, Jay-Z teamed up with R. Kelly for the album The Best of Both Worlds. They had even mapped out a tour for the same year. However, due to R. Kelly's legal issues, the tour had to be delayed until 2004. Meanwhile, amidst all these upheavals, Aaliyah tragically lost her life in a plane crash. In the year 2004, Jay and R. Kelly found themselves in collaboration once again, having produced and released their latest album titled Unfinished Business. As they embarked on their tour together, Jay reveled in the joy of performing, accompanied by his eerie companion. However, this camaraderie left Dame feeling utterly betrayed and shattered, for Jay was not only a close friend, but akin to a brother. Aware of the distressing ordeal Aaliyah endured with R. Kelly, Jay understood Dame's efforts
efforts to distance himself from the controversial figure, respecting Aliyah's desire to avoid any confrontation. Did Jay-Z remain faithful to the comrade who stood steadfast by his side during every challenge? Absolutely not. Instead, he boldly aligned himself with R. Kelly, who would eventually face a 30-year prison sentence. Eventually, Jay-Z and R. Kelly's relationship soured, with R. Kelly purportedly fearing for his life due to Jay-Z's alleged attempts on it. Ronnie Bowe, a former cellmate of R. Kelly, later disclosed how R. Kelly, while incarcerated, spoke of Jay-Z's jealousy and attempts to orchestrate his demise. So we going through it in there, we frustrated. And then it was like that same week or two, where they open up the phones, you know how excited it could be to call their mama or their girlfriend or their kids or whatever. After you just been deprived of that for six months, you know, you really ain't heard nobody's voice. That's how we felt. Like, damn, okay, now we get on the phone. And However, the crucial aspect to understand here is that Jay's rift with R. Kelly wasn't solely due to R. Kelly's abhorrent criminal behavior. Rather, it stemmed from R. Kelly's unprofessional conduct around the time they planned to embark on a tour. R. Kelly began exhibiting erratic behavior, showing up late or inconsistently to rehearsals, displaying signs of paranoia, and incessantly complaining about various matters. Based on confidential insights, it's believed that Jay-Z's attempt to maintain a facade of friendship with R. Kelly, despite his questionable actions, stemmed from a fear that Kelly might implicate him in his wrongdoing. This fear was rooted in the understanding that Kelly's activities mirrored his own, and Jay-Z's proximity to Kelly only served to tarnish his reputation, prompting speculation about his involvement. This strained their relationship, eventually leading to legal battles involving hefty sums of money. People are murmuring that Jay has taken a page from the R. Kelly saga and is now distancing himself from Diddy. The friendship between Diddy and Jay-Z has endured for quite some time, with rumors circulating about their shared attendance at Diddy's notorious parties. Diddy himself has emphasized the significance of his bond with Jay-Z, noting that only he and his mother are permitted to address him by his real name. This sentiment is echoed by the presence of a photo featuring both Diddy and Jay-Z prominently displayed on Diddy's website, underscoring the pride Diddy takes in their relationship. Jay appeared quite content crafting the video montage for Diddy's Lifetime Achievement Award. It's no secret that he cherishes their friendship, evident from the consistent invitations extended to Diddy for his annual Rock Nation soirees. Speaking of which, the absence of Rock Nation's customary brunch this year didn't go unnoticed. Rumors suggest Jay decided to cancel the event altogether, fearing it would raise eyebrows if Diddy wasn't on the guest list. Surprisingly, whispers hint that Jay is actively avoiding Diddy, a departure from his usual camaraderie. Speculation swirls as to why Jay would distance himself from Diddy, especially considering Jay's history of standing by questionable characters. Allegedly, it's because Diddy possesses incriminating evidence implicating Jay-Z in unsavory activities, a departure from his usual associations akin to those with R. Kelly. It's easy to understand how it could be because, as we all know, Jay prefers younger girls. Bonus points if the girl was in her mid-teens. Take Foxy Brown, for instance. While it was discovered that Foxy was just 15 years old while Jay-Z was supposedly dating her, Jay-Z received a lot of backlash. Fox was supposedly seduced into the relationship by Jay-Z with the promise of a lucrative Hollywood career. Reports suggest that Jay allegedly paid Foxy a substantial sum to maintain silence regarding the incident, and it's purported that she remains under his employment even now. Jay apparently alluded to this in his song, Picasso Baby. However, when questioned about it, Foxy attempted to sidestep the issue, implying that she and Jay were expected to brush it off as part of the celebrity lifestyle. She mentioned being surprised when Jay referenced it in Picasso Baby, indicating they've discussed such matters before due to their long-standing history beyond just music. Foxy implied they understand the workings of the industry and choose to laugh off such rumors. Dame Dash, however, later verified everything in an interview, becoming quite defensive when questioned about it seemed familiar. That's because Diddy allegedly promised Cassie the same thing when she was just 19 years old, trapping her in a horrible relationship. However, that's not all. Back then, Wanda Satterthwaite, one of the girls Jay was dating, allegedly had a baby when Jay was 22 years old, and Reimer Satterthwaite, the child, is now an adult. Jay-Z had a bunch of kids in the tri-state area, uh, particularly Maryland. Um, he paid off those kids to stay quiet, right? Remember, you know, some stuff came out, a daughter came out, and then she disappeared. Allegedly, she ended up, you know, going from being homeless with her kids to having a big house in Maryland and a black Escalade, and you know, she's quiet now. <laughs>
During an interview, Wanda's godmother, Lily, recounted receiving a call from Sean's in-house lawyer, who was initially cooperative and supportive in resolving matters privately. They even discussed Rymir's musical abilities and the possibility of signing him onto Sean's record label. But Lily declined due to Rymir needing to complete high school first. However, the situation took a sharp turn when other lawyers became involved, exhibiting a change in attitude. Lily speculated that they may have realized the potential implications for Sean, particularly concerning Wanda's alleged youthfulness. Despite being married to Beyonce, rumors persist that Jay-Z began dating her when she was significantly younger, despite their claims that they only started dating when she was 19. In a slip-up during an interview, Jay-Z implied that he had met Beyonce when she was around 15 or 16. What's astonishing is that Beyonce had very little experience with men before Jay-Z. She dedicated herself to her career from a young age, and her parents imposed strict rules, so she only had one boyfriend in her youth, and it was evidently not a serious relationship. The subsequent relationship she entered was with a man who was 12 years her senior. He pursued her solely because his primary choice didn't reciprocate his feelings. Aaliyah caught Jay's attention initially, but it didn't flourish due to her affection for Dame. Allegedly, Jay-Z was searching for a talented and beautiful R&B artist to build a powerful duo with. But when things didn't work out with Aaliyah, he redirected his focus towards Beyonce. It's striking how Beyonce resembles Aaliyah in certain aspects, fueling rumors suggesting Aaliyah's demise was a sacrifice to elevate someone else in the industry. Here is how Dame Dash exposed is Jay Z. I was just shocked at how long he got away with it. How many people turned and looked the other way. Before R. Kelly, Dame and Jay were inseparable as they built an empire together. You've been with Jay Z since the <laughs> beginning, right? So, I mean, yeah, about what, what, 10, 15 years. Jay Z and Dame came from street money to stop. Reports from the incident indicated that she was reluctant to board the plane, and it was mentioned that a member of her team administered a sedative to her, causing her to board while unconscious. The details surrounding the incident strongly suggest a setup. In fact, Mary J. Blige explicitly stated her belief that Aaliyah's passing was orchestrated as a form of spiritual murder. Additionally, according to Ice Cube, Jay-Z is not beyond sacrificing others to further his own or his partner's career in the industry. Cube once passionately spoke out about the existence of a club of gatekeepers who ruin individuals' careers if they refuse to comply with their demands. What's even more unsettling is that Ice Cube harbored animosity towards Jay-Z for quite some time due to possessing information about Jay-Z's association with R. Kelly and Diddy. This suggests that the information Ice Cube holds could be deeply disturbing. In a recent interview, Ice Cube emphasized the importance of addressing issues when they arise, including calling out wrongdoing within the industry. He stressed the significance of speaking up at the right moment instead of regretting not doing so later. This approach, he suggested, prevents lingering feelings of remorse. In this show, you're free to express yourself however you like. There are no restrictions. You can be certain that Ice Cube's knowledge of Jay's questionable activities won't remain hidden much longer. Recent interviews with Ice Cube suggest he's determined to expose industry wrongdoing. Fans have shared their thoughts on this issue, acknowledging Cube's credibility and sensible approach. When Ice Cube speaks out against someone, it's genuine. His truth stems from authenticity, not financial gain. He's driven Driven by personal motives, not materialistic desires. Many believe Diddy and Jay-Z belong behind bars, labeling them as dangerous individuals who manipulate and exploit young individuals. It's alarming that they remain free to potentially cause further harm. Now let's delve into the ongoing speculations about Beyonce and Jay-Z's relationship dynamics. Rumors suggest that Jay-Z has been steering and influencing their relationship since its inception. Some say they began dating when Beyonce was just 18, while Jay-Z was already 30. Um, I was telling, um, Kanye that I wanted to do a song with Beyonce he was working out. I, I wrote a song on the album. Mm -hmm. Wrote a couple songs, you know. I don't know how I many she used. You doing a lot of solo uh, writing for her solo album? No, I, no, no, I don't know how I many she's gonna use. I know she's definitely used one of the songs I wrote, so I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yet Jay-Z disputes this version of events, claiming their love story started when Beyonce was 20 and he was 32. However, the story remains enigmatic, as Beyonce has alluded to their earlier encounter, noting she was 18 when they first met and 19 when they began dating. Although she was not a minor, the 12-year age difference is striking, especially given that she was still a teenager at the time. Additionally, it's important to highlight that Jay-Z was Beyonce's first significant relationship. Relationship. She has openly discussed how her teenage years were dominated by her aspirations and drive. Talking about those years, she explained, My teenage years were dedicated to serious pursuit. My focus was the aspiration of securing a record deal to venture into the world of music. If an endeavor didn't contribute to my aspirations, I allocated it no time. Not only did Jay-Z share a significant 12-year age difference with Beyonce, but she also had limited relationship experience at the time. But brace yourself, as there's a surprising twist to the Jay-Z 
and Beyonce narrative. Beyonce's former bodyguard claims that Jay-Z became overly paranoid, fearing that Beyonce might leave him. There are whispers that he took extreme measures to control her, allegedly even providing her with drugs. Jaguar didn't mince words when talking about Jay-Z, drawing parallels between his control over Beyonce and Britney Spears' well-publicized struggles. She further implied that Beyonce may feel trapped in her marriage. But Jaguar didn't stop there. She also commented that Jay-Z surpasses Diddy in terms of controversy. Given the long-standing rumors surrounding Diddy, this is a bold claim. If Jaguar believes Jay-Z is more controversial than Diddy, it raises the question, what really goes on behind closed doors? Sean Carter is worse. Uh-oh. Oh, man. He's smarter. According to Jaguar, Jay-Z is just more savvy than Diddy, handling his affairs with greater discretion and staying out of the spotlight. This aligns with Ice Cube's insights, who believe Jay-Z is slowly distancing himself from Diddy. While Diddy faces public scrutiny, Jay-Z is said to be quietly pursuing his own ventures behind the scenes. Make sure to check out some of our other videos on the screen if you enjoyed this one.